Hello, history enthusiasts, time travelers, and knowledge seekers. Welcome to another journey back in time here on Backdrop History. Introduction Albert Einstein, one of the most renowned and celebrated scientists in history, was born on March 14, 1879, in the city of Ulm, in the Kingdom of Württemberg, Germany. His extraordinary intellect and insatiable curiosity about the mysteries of the universe would go on to reshape the foundations of modern physics and inspire generations of thinkers. This detailed account will take you through the fascinating life of Albert Einstein, from his early years and academic struggles to his groundbreaking scientific achievements, humanitarian efforts, and enduring legacy. Chapter 1, Early Years in Education Albert Einstein's formative years laid the groundwork for the exceptional intellectual journey that would follow. Born to Hermann and Pauline Einstein on March 14, 1879, in the city of Ulm, in the Kingdom of Württemberg, Germany, Albert exhibited signs of brilliance from an early age. However, his early life was not without its share of challenges, as his unconventional personality clashed with the rigid societal norms and educational system prevalent in late 19th century Germany. From his early childhood, Albert Einstein showed an insatiable curiosity about the world around him. He was fascinated by the invisible forces that governed the universe, showing a particular interest in the workings of magnets and the movement of compass needles. His intellectual inclinations were evident even before he attended formal schooling. At the age of five, his father gifted him a compass, a seemingly simple object that captivated young Albert's imagination. This early encounter with the magnetic field's invisible force left an indelible impression, foreshadowing his later preoccupation with understanding the fundamental forces of nature. Despite his early fascination with science, Albert faced difficulties during his early education. As a child, he was not a conformist and often challenged the strict authority of his teachers and the conventional educational practices of the time. His independent thinking and rebellious nature earned him the reputation of being a problematic student. Teachers and authority figures struggled to handle his relentless questioning and refusal to adhere to established norms, often resulting in disciplinary actions. In 1889, when Albert was 10 years old, the Einstein family moved to Munich, where he would continue his education. At the Lippold Gymnasium, a Catholic school, Albert's Jewish heritage set him apart from the predominantly Catholic student body. The cultural and religious differences further isolated young Einstein, contributing to his sense of being an outsider. Despite facing social and academic challenges, he continued to immerse himself in the subjects that fascinated him the most, mathematics and physics. Tragically, in 1894, when Albert was only 15, his family experienced a significant setback when his father's business faced financial ruin. The family's financial struggles put further strain on Einstein's academic pursuits, as he had to balance his studies with part-time work to support himself and his family. Despite these hardships, his passion for learning remained undiminished. In 1895, after completing his secondary education, Einstein applied to the prestigious Swiss Federal Polytechnic Polytechnische Schule, in Zurich, Switzerland. He sought admission to the institution to pursue his dream of becoming a physicist. However, the rigorous entrance examination proved to be a formidable challenge. Although he excelled in mathematics and physics, his lackluster performance in other subjects, such as history, languages, and botany, presented a hindrance. Nevertheless, the admission committee recognized his exceptional potential in mathematics and physics, and he was granted entrance. Albert Einstein's time at the Swiss Federal Polytechnic proved to be a turning point in his life. The institution's liberal and intellectually stimulating environment provided the perfect breeding ground for his inquisitive mind. Under the guidance of dedicated professors, he delved deeper into his passion for science and philosophy. 
He immersed himself in the works of influential thinkers like Immanuel Kant and Ernst Mach, whose ideas greatly influenced his developing worldview. During his years at the Polytechnic, Einstein formed a close bond with a few like-minded friends, and they engaged in stimulating discussions about their shared interests in science and philosophy. Together, they formed a small informal study group that would meet regularly to explore complex scientific concepts and exchange ideas. In 1900, after four years of dedicated study, Albert Einstein graduated from the Swiss Federal Polytechnic with a diploma in mathematics and physics. Despite his academic success, finding suitable employment in the academic world proved challenging due to his unorthodox approach to physics and his perceived difficulty working with others in a structured environment. This period of uncertainty and professional rejection would not deter Einstein but rather drive him to forge his own unique path in the scientific realm. Chapter 2, Annus Mirabilis and the Special Theory of Relativity The year 1905 would prove to be nothing short of miraculous for Albert Einstein, marking a turning point in the history of physics. Often referred to as his Annus Mirabilis or Miracle Year, this period saw the young physicist publish for groundbreaking papers that would revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Among these transformative works was Einstein's seminal paper on the special theory of relativity, which introduced revolutionary concepts that challenged the very fabric of classical physics. By 1905, Einstein was working as a patent examiner at the Swiss Patent Office in Bern, Switzerland. Despite his employment in a seemingly unrelated field, his mind remained deeply engaged with scientific questions and the pursuit of knowledge. Throughout this year, the 26-year-old Einstein published four papers in the prestigious German physics journal Analender Physik, each tackling different aspects of physics and laying the foundation for significant advancements in the field. The first of Einstein's groundbreaking papers, titled On a Heuristic Viewpoint Concerning the Production and Transformation of Light, explored the phenomenon known as the photoelectric effect. This paper, which introduced the concept of quantized energy levels for light, provided evidence for the existence of light quanta, or what we now call photons. This work would later earn him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921, and it would have profound implications for the development of quantum mechanics. The second paper, titled On the Motion of Small Particles Suspended in Stationary Liquids Required by the Molecular Kinetic Theory of Heat, focused on Brownian motion. Einstein used statistical mechanics to provide a theoretical explanation for the erratic movement of tiny particles suspended in a fluid providing further evidence for the atomic nature of matter. This work strengthened the case for the existence of atoms, which had been a subject of scientific debate for decades. However, the most revolutionary and far-reaching of Einstein's 1905 papers was undoubtedly his On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies, published in June of that year. In this seminal paper, Einstein introduced the special theory of relativity, which would forever alter our understanding of time, space, and the fundamental principles of physics. The special theory of relativity was founded on two postulates, the principle of relativity and the constancy of the speed of light. The principle of relativity stated that the laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion, regardless of their relative velocities. This concept challenged the traditional Newtonian view of absolute space and time and introduced the concept of relative motion. The second postulate, the constancy of the speed of light, was even more revolutionary. Einstein proposed that the speed of light in a vacuum is an absolute constant, and it remains the same regardless of the motion of the source or the observer. This meant that the speed of light would appear the same to all observers, irrespective of their relative motion. This idea led to the abandonment of the concept of an ether, which was a hypothetical medium previously believed to be responsible for propagating light waves. The implications of the special theory of relativity were profound and counterintuitive. 
It showed that time and space are not absolute but are interconnected in a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. Time dilation and length contraction were consequences of relative motion, where time would pass differently for observers moving at different velocities, and objects would appear to be shorter in the direction of motion. One of the most famous and celebrated outcomes of the special theory of relativity was Einstein's iconic equation, E equals mc squared. This equation demonstrated the equivalence of mass and energy, showing that mass could be converted into energy and vice versa. It opened the door to the exploration of nuclear energy and ultimately played a pivotal role in the development of atomic weapons and nuclear power. Einstein's special theory of relativity was met with both excitement and skepticism within the scientific community. Its concepts challenged long-held beliefs and required a paradigm shift in physics. Despite initial resistance, the theory's veracity was soon confirmed through experimental evidence, notably the famous Michelson-Morley experiment and subsequent experiments measuring time dilation and length contraction. Chapter 3, The Road to General Theory of Relativity the years following the publication of the Special Theory of Relativity in 1905 were a time of intense intellectual exploration and growth for Albert Einstein. Having revolutionized our understanding of time, space, and the fundamental principles of physics, Einstein turned his attention to the enigmatic force of gravity. This marked the beginning of a journey that would span nearly a decade and culminate in the development of his magnum opus, The General Theory of Relativity. Einstein's fascination with gravity stemmed from the realization that his special theory of relativity was inconsistent with the force of gravity, as described by Sir Isaac Newton's classical theory of gravitation. According to Newton's law, gravity acted as an attractive force between two massive objects, with the strength of the force dependent on their masses and the distance between them. However, this theory did not account for certain observations, such as the precession of the orbit of the planet Mercury, which remained unexplained. Einstein's pursuit of a comprehensive theory of gravity began in earnest in 1907. He initially attempted to extend his special theory of relativity to incorporate acceleration and gravitational forces, but these early efforts proved unsuccessful. Einstein realized that he needed to develop an entirely new framework for understanding gravity, one that would account for the curvature of spacetime caused by massive objects. To aid in his research, Einstein sought the expertise of fellow scientists and engaged in extensive discussions and collaborations. One such important collaborator was his old friend and fellow physicist Marcel Grossman, who introduced him to the mathematical concepts of Riemannian geometry. This non-Euclidean geometry allowed Einstein to describe the curvature of spacetime mathematically and laid the groundwork for the development of the general theory of relativity. Einstein's relentless pursuit of a consistent theory of gravity was not without its challenges. He encountered numerous obstacles, both theoretical and practical, during his journey. Some of these challenges were deeply rooted in the complexities of the mathematics required to describe curved spacetime. Einstein faced difficulty in finding the appropriate mathematical formalism to express his ideas, leading him to revise and refine his equations multiple times. As his research progressed, Einstein grappled with deep philosophical questions about the nature of space, time, and the universe. He pondered the fundamental relationship between geometry and physics, seeking to understand how the curvature of spacetime could explain the force of gravity. This exploration of the philosophical underpinnings of his theory would shape the way he approached the mathematical development of the general theory of relativity. By 1912, Einstein had made significant progress in his quest for a complete theory of gravity. He presented a preliminary version of his theory, known as the Entwerf theory, which incorporated the concept of curved spacetime but differed from the final version of the general theory of relativity in certain key aspects. Einstein continued to refine his ideas, engaging in a correspondence with fellow physicist David Hilbert, 
who was also working on similar problems in gravitation. Finally, in November 1915, after years of intense work and collaboration, Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity. This monumental achievement was presented in a series of four papers, culminating in the publication of his famous field equations. The general theory of relativity proposed a radically new understanding of gravity, describing it not as a force acting at a distance but as the curvature of spacetime caused by massive objects. The field equations of general relativity elegantly express the relationship between the curvature of spacetime and the distribution of matter and energy. These equations provided a mathematical framework for understanding the dynamics of the universe on both cosmic and microscopic scales. They predicted the bending of light around massive objects, known as gravitational lensing, and explained the observed perihelion shift of the planet Mercury, resolving the long-standing discrepancy in Newtonian gravity. General Relativity's predictions were soon confirmed by experimental evidence, such as the famous 1919 expedition led by Sir Arthur Eddington to observe a total solar eclipse, during which the bending of starlight around the sun was observed and validated Einstein's theory. Chapter 4, Fame and Global Recognition The total solar eclipse of May 29, 1919, marked a pivotal moment in the life of Albert Einstein and the history of modern physics. This celestial event provided a crucial test for his general theory of relativity, which he had published four years earlier. The successful confirmation of his theory during this solar eclipse catapulted him to worldwide fame and transformed him into an international celebrity. Subsequently, he embarked on a journey of global recognition, delivering lectures, promoting his ideas, and solidifying his position as one of the most influential scientific minds of the 20th century. The total solar eclipse presented an extraordinary opportunity to test Einstein's general theory of relativity. According to the theory, massive objects, such as the Sun, would bend the path of light passing near them due to the curvature of spacetime. This bending of light could be observed during a total solar eclipse when the sun's intense light was obscured, allowing stars near the sun to become visible. The extent of the bending of starlight could be compared to the predictions of general relativity and tested against the older Newtonian theory of gravitation. Einstein's theory suggested that light from distant stars would appear to shift its position slightly as it passed near the sun during an eclipse. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, was a crucial prediction of general relativity that could either confirm or disprove the theory. The British astronomer Sir Arthur Eddington organized an expedition to the island of Principe off the coast of West Africa and another team to Sobral, Brazil, to observe the solar eclipse and test Einstein's theory. The results of the solar eclipse observations were announced in November 1919, and they astounded the scientific community. The data confirmed that the starlight had indeed bent as predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity. This confirmation was a triumph for Einstein and marked a turning point in the acceptance of his revolutionary theory. News of the successful confirmation of general relativity spread rapidly across the world, capturing the public's imagination and catapulting Einstein to unprecedented fame. He became a household name, and his face adorned newspaper headlines and magazine covers. The once relatively unknown theoretical physicist from Switzerland was now an international sensation, admired and celebrated by scientists and the general public alike. Einstein's newfound fame allowed him to travel extensively to share his ideas with audiences around the globe. He embarked on lecture tours, giving talks at prestigious universities and scientific institutions in Europe, the United States, and Asia. Audiences were captivated by his innovative thinking and charismatic delivery. His lectures often drew packed halls, with attendees eager to catch a glimpse of the man who had upended the foundations of physics. As a public figure, Einstein's charm and wit endeared him to people from all walks of life. 
He was not only celebrated for his scientific genius but also admired for his warmth, approachability, and sense of humor. He enjoyed engaging with the public and answering their questions, making complex scientific concepts accessible to non-experts. In 1921, Einstein received further recognition for his contributions to science when he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. However, the prize was not awarded for his work on the general theory of relativity but rather for his explanation of the photoelectric effect, the discovery that light behaves as both particles and waves, leading to the concept of light quanta, or photons. Although some critics felt that the Nobel Committee missed an opportunity to honor his groundbreaking work on relativity, the award further solidified his status as a scientific luminary. Amidst the global recognition and acclaim, Einstein remained dedicated to his research and pursuit of knowledge. He continued to publish influential papers and collaborate with fellow scientists on various projects. However, he also recognized the responsibilities that came with his fame and used his platform to advocate for causes close to his heart. Einstein's fame allowed him to champion pacifism, disarmament, and human rights. He spoke out against militarism, nationalism, and war, becoming an ardent advocate for peace in a world still recovering from the devastation of World War I. He also used his influence to support the civil rights movement in the United States, advocating for racial equality and justice. Chapter 5, Advocacy for Peace and Humanitarian Causes Albert Einstein's commitment to peace and humanitarian causes went far beyond the realm of theoretical physics. In the aftermath of the devastation caused by World War I, he emerged as a staunch advocate for peace, social justice, and the rights of marginalized communities. Leveraging his influential status as a global scientific celebrity, Einstein used his voice and platform to fight against militarism, nationalism, and racism, and to promote international cooperation and disarmament. The horrors of World War I, which ended in 1918, deeply affected Einstein and many others who witnessed the unprecedented scale of destruction and loss of life. In response to the war's devastation, Einstein became deeply committed to the cause of pacifism. He believed that violence and war were not the solutions to the world's problems and that the international community must strive for peaceful resolutions to conflicts. In 1919, shortly after the end of the war, Einstein was an active participant in the Congress of Oppressed Nationalities, held in Zurich, Switzerland. The Congress aimed to address the grievances of minority communities that had suffered under imperial rule and to advocate for their rights and self-determination. Einstein's involvement in the Congress reflected his broader concern for social justice and the fair treatment of all people, regardless of their nationality or ethnicity. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, Einstein continued to advocate for peace and disarmament. He participated in numerous international conferences and peace congresses, where he passionately argued for the abolition of war and the establishment of peaceful means for resolving conflicts between nations. His advocacy for disarmament was particularly relevant in the interwar period, a time marked by military buildups and growing tensions among nations. Einstein's efforts for peace were not limited to speeches and public appearances. In 1921, he joined the League of Nations International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation, an organization aimed at promoting international understanding and cooperation through intellectual exchange. Through this committee, Einstein sought to foster cultural and scientific collaboration between countries as a means of cultivating peaceful relations. As the Nazi party rose to power in Germany during the 1930s, Einstein, who was of Jewish heritage, faced increasing danger and persecution. He witnessed the erosion of civil liberties and the rise of anti-Semitism in Germany. In 1933, fearing for his safety, Einstein left Germany and emigrated to the United States, where he accepted a position at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. 
Einstein's experiences with prejudice and discrimination fueled his determination to fight against racism and advocate for civil rights. In the United States, he became an outspoken advocate for the African-American community, supporting their struggle for equality and justice. He formed close friendships with prominent civil rights leaders such as W.E.B. Du Bois and Paul Robeson, and actively engaged in conversations about racial injustice and segregation. In 1946, Einstein was invited to deliver a speech at Lincoln University, a historically black institution in Pennsylvania. During his address, he condemned racism as a white man's disease and stressed the importance of fighting for civil rights and equality. His words resonated deeply with the African-American community, and he was hailed as a champion for civil rights. Einstein's activism extended beyond the United States. In 1946, he co-chaired the Emergency Committee of Atomic Scientists, which sought to promote public awareness of the dangers of nuclear weapons and advocate for international control of atomic energy. He expressed grave concerns about the destructive potential of nuclear weapons and the need for global cooperation to prevent their use. In the final years of his life, Einstein remained actively involved in advocating for peace and social justice. He participated in the Pugwash Conferences on Science and World Affairs, an organization dedicated to finding peaceful solutions to global conflicts through scientific cooperation. He also continued to use his influence to call for nuclear disarmament and peaceful resolutions to international disputes. Chapter 6, The Later Years and Quantum Mechanics In the 1920s and 1930s, Albert Einstein's scientific pursuits shifted focus to the burgeoning field of quantum mechanics. This period marked a crucial juncture in the history of physics, as the revolutionary theory of quantum mechanics was rapidly transforming our understanding of the atomic and subatomic world. However, Einstein's approach to this new framework was characterized by ambivalence and discomfort, as he grappled with the probabilistic nature of the theory and famously stated, God does not play dice with the universe. Despite his reservations, quantum mechanics emerged as an essential part of modern physics, leading to profound advancements and reshaping the foundations of the discipline. Quantum mechanics emerged in the early 20th century as a response to the challenges posed by phenomena at the atomic and subatomic scales. Classical physics, which had successfully described the macroscopic world, struggled to explain the peculiar behaviors of particles at the quantum level. Quantum mechanics introduced a fundamentally different understanding of the physical world, in which particles were described by wave-like functions, and their behavior was governed by probabilities rather than definite outcomes. Einstein's early contributions to quantum mechanics were pioneering and played a crucial role in the development of the field. In 1905, he explained the photoelectric effect through the concept of light quanta, or photons, demonstrating the particle-like behavior of light. This work laid the groundwork for the later development of quantum theory by Max Planck, Niels Bohr, and others. However, as quantum mechanics evolved, Einstein found himself increasingly at odds with its probabilistic interpretation. He was uncomfortable with the idea that fundamental aspects of reality were governed by chance and probabilities, rather than determinism, which had been a guiding principle in classical physics. Einstein famously expressed his skepticism with the statement, God does not play dice with the universe, reflecting his belief that there must be underlying deterministic laws governing quantum phenomena. One of the key points of contention for Einstein was the concept of entanglement, a quantum phenomenon where particles become deeply interconnected, such that the properties of one particle are instantaneously correlated with the properties of another, regardless of distance. Einstein referred to this as spooky action at a distance and was troubled by the apparent non-locality of quantum interactions, which seemed to defy classical notions of cause and effect. Einstein's reservations about the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics were further highlighted by his engagement in a series of debates with Niels Bohr, 
a leading figure in the development of quantum theory. The famous Bore-Einstein debates centered around the interpretation of quantum mechanics and the philosophical implications of its probabilistic nature. While Bohr embraced the probabilistic framework and the notion of complementarity, which posited that particles could exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior depending on the experimental setup, Einstein sought a more deterministic and complete theory. Despite his disagreements with the prevailing interpretation of quantum mechanics, Einstein continued to make significant contributions to the field. In 1924, along with Indian physicist Satyendra Nath Bose, he predicted the phenomenon of Bose-Einstein condensation, which describes the behavior of certain particles at extremely low temperatures. This prediction was experimentally confirmed decades later and has become a central concept in the study of ultracold matter. As the 1930s progressed, Einstein's discomfort with quantum mechanics did not wane. He sought to develop a unified field theory, an ambitious endeavor aimed at reconciling gravity and electromagnetism into a single, comprehensive framework. However, his pursuit of this grand unification remained elusive, and he faced formidable mathematical and conceptual challenges. Despite Einstein's reservations and his inability to fully embrace the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics, the theory continued to gain prominence and acceptance within the scientific community. Quantum mechanics paved the way for numerous groundbreaking discoveries, such as wave-particle duality, the uncertainty principle, and quantum tunneling. These insights opened up new avenues of research and applications in fields like quantum electronics, quantum computing, and quantum cryptography. In the later years of his life, Einstein's contributions to physics garnered him continued respect and admiration. In 1951, he was awarded the prestigious Max Planck Medal by the German Physical Society recognizing his outstanding achievements in theoretical physics. Even though he never fully embraced quantum mechanics, Einstein's profound impact on the development of the field and his critical engagement with its philosophical implications shaped the trajectory of modern physics. Chapter 7, Einstein's Exile and Legacy as political tensions escalated in Europe during the 1930s, Albert Einstein, a prominent Jewish scientist, found himself facing increasing persecution in Nazi Germany. The rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime threatened the safety and livelihood of Jewish citizens, including Einstein, who had long been a vocal opponent of fascism and militarism. In 1933, with the situation in Germany becoming increasingly dire, Einstein made the difficult decision to leave Europe and seek refuge elsewhere. He accepted a position at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, where he would spend the remainder of his life. Einstein's departure from Europe marked the beginning of a period of exile that significantly influenced the trajectory of his scientific pursuits and his broader legacy. As he settled into his new life in the United States, Einstein remained deeply committed to his research and continued his quest for a unified field theory and ambitious attempt to reconcile gravity and electromagnetism into a single, all-encompassing framework. Einstein's unified field theory sought to extend the principles of general relativity and electromagnetism to encompass all fundamental forces in the universe. He aimed to find a set of equations that would elegantly describe the interactions between gravity, electromagnetism, and other forces, providing a unified description of the physical world. However, despite his best efforts, Einstein never achieved his ultimate goal of formulating a complete unified theory. The pursuit of a unified field theory proved to be an immense challenge, requiring complex mathematical and conceptual frameworks. Einstein faced formidable difficulties, wrestling with intricate equations and unifying principles that often eluded him. The lack of experimental data to guide his theory and the absence of a complete understanding of other fundamental forces hindered his progress. Nevertheless, Einstein's work on the unified field theory was not in vain. 
His relentless exploration of the relationship between gravity and electromagnetism laid the groundwork for future research in theoretical physics. His investigations into higher dimensional geometries and the nature of spacetime provided inspiration and guidance for later generations of physicists seeking to unify the fundamental forces of the universe. Beyond his scientific pursuits, Einstein's time in exile also allowed him to engage in political and social activities. He became an outspoken advocate for the plight of European Jews and actively worked to support refugees fleeing Nazi persecution. Einstein used his influential status to speak out against fascism and totalitarianism, urging for international cooperation and peace in a world on the brink of a second global conflict. In the years leading up to World War II, Einstein's warnings about the dangers of nuclear weapons and the need for global disarmament became increasingly urgent. He famously signed a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1939, alerting him to the potential of nuclear fission and the possibility of developing atomic bombs. This letter played a crucial role in the establishment of the Manhattan Project, the American effort to build nuclear weapons during the war. Despite his involvement in the nuclear issue, Einstein was deeply distressed by the use of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. He became an advocate for nuclear disarmament, warning of the catastrophic consequences of nuclear war and the importance of preventing further use of such weapons. His activism on this issue would continue throughout the remainder of his life. As the years passed, Albert Einstein's reputation as one of history's greatest scientific minds continued to grow. He received numerous awards and honors, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1939 and honorary degrees from universities around the world. His name became synonymous with genius, and he was celebrated not only for his scientific achievements but also for his humanitarianism and commitment to social justice. Einstein's legacy extended far beyond the realm of theoretical physics. He remains an enduring symbol of intellectual curiosity, creativity, and the pursuit of truth. His work continues to inspire future generations of scientists and thinkers, encouraging them to explore the mysteries of the universe and to seek a deeper understanding of the natural world. Chapter 8, Conclusion Albert Einstein's passing on April 18, 1955, marked the end of an era and the loss of one of the greatest scientific minds in history. His life journey was a testament to the power of curiosity, perseverance, and the unyielding pursuit of knowledge. Einstein's legacy is multifaceted, encompassing groundbreaking scientific theories that continue to shape our understanding of the universe, as well as a profound commitment to peace, social justice, and humanitarian causes that continues to inspire social activism and advocacy. Einstein's scientific contributions have left an indelible mark on the world of physics. His theory of relativity, both the special and general versions, revolutionized our understanding of space, time, and gravity. The principles of relativity have been confirmed through countless experiments and observations, establishing them as cornerstones of modern physics. The iconic equation E equals mc squared has had far-reaching implications, paving the way for nuclear energy and transforming our understanding of the relationship between mass and energy. While Einstein's efforts to develop a unified field theory ultimately eluded him, his work in this area laid the groundwork for future research and inspired generations of physicists to seek a comprehensive understanding of the fundamental forces of the universe. His pioneering contributions to quantum mechanics, particularly his early work on the photoelectric effect, also played a pivotal role in the development of this revolutionary theory. Beyond his scientific pursuits, Einstein's dedication to peace and human rights remains an enduring aspect of his legacy. His advocacy for disarmament, pacifism, and international cooperation served as a powerful voice for a world in dire need of reconciliation after the devastation of two world wars. 
Einstein's belief in the value of global unity and the promotion of human dignity resonated with people around the world, inspiring social activists and advocates for justice and equality. Einstein's principled stance against racism and his support for civil rights further exemplified his commitment to human rights and social progress. His association with prominent civil rights leaders and his vocal condemnation of segregation and discrimination highlighted the importance of using one's influence and platform to challenge injustice. Throughout his life, Einstein remained deeply engaged with the world, addressing scientific, political, and humanitarian issues with equal passion and integrity. He was not merely content with the pursuit of knowledge in isolation but sought to apply his insights to the betterment of society. His life journey serves as a powerful reminder that intellectual brilliance and compassion can coexist, leading to a profound and positive impact on the world. In the decades since Einstein's passing, his scientific and humanitarian legacies have continued to resonate across academic disciplines and the broader global community. His name has become synonymous with genius and remains a symbol of intellectual curiosity, innovation, and critical thinking. His theories have become an integral part of modern physics, guiding researchers in their exploration of the cosmos and the smallest building blocks of matter. More Information and Facts Part 1 – Personal Life and Relationships Delving into Albert Einstein's personal life offers a glimpse into the man behind the scientific genius, revealing a complex individual whose relationships and family life were marked by both triumphs and challenges. Understanding his personal dynamics can provide valuable insights into the factors that shaped his character and influenced his scientific pursuits. Einstein's first significant relationship was with Meliva Merrick, whom he met while they were both studying physics and mathematics at the Polytechnic Institute in Zurich. They formed a close bond and shared a mutual passion for intellectual pursuits. The two married in 1903, and their early years together were filled with shared scientific endeavors and dreams of making significant contributions to the field of physics. Their relationship, however, faced numerous strains. Meliva was a talented physicist in her own right, but societal norms and prevailing gender biases of the time hindered her career aspirations. As a result, she often took on domestic responsibilities, which affected her ability to continue her scientific work. This dynamic created tensions within their marriage and may have influenced Einstein's professional trajectory. Their relationship further experienced challenges when their first child, a daughter named Liesel, was born in 1902. Very little is known about Liesel, as her existence remained shrouded in mystery for many years. Some historians suggest that she was placed for adoption due to financial difficulties and societal pressure against unmarried couples having children. Einstein and Marrakesh's subsequent marriage and family life were, therefore, marked by the absence of Liesel, which could have added to the complexities of their relationship. Einstein and Marek had two more children together, Hans Albert, born in 1904, and Eduard, born in 1910. Einstein's relationship with his sons was influenced by his demanding career and frequent travels. Despite his work commitments, he maintained a deep affection for his children and exchanged numerous letters with them when he was away. Hans Albert, the eldest son, followed in his father's footsteps and pursued a career in hydraulic engineering. He had a somewhat distant relationship with Einstein, who encouraged him to find his own path and interests. Their exchanges often revolved around scientific matters, and Einstein took pride in his son's achievements, even though they were not directly linked to theoretical physics. Edward, the younger son, had a difficult life marked by mental health struggles. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia in his early adulthood, which deeply affected Einstein. As Edward's condition deteriorated, Einstein struggled to provide the support and care his son needed while simultaneously juggling his professional commitments. 
Einstein's personal life took a significant turn in the early 1910s when he fell in love with his cousin, Elsa Lowenthal. Elsa provided a supportive and caring presence in Einstein's life, and their relationship blossomed into a deep emotional connection. After divorcing Maliva in 1919, Einstein married Elsa, becoming stepfather to her two daughters from a previous marriage. Elsa played an essential role in supporting Einstein's scientific endeavors and managing his personal affairs. She provided stability and helped create a warm and welcoming home for the family. Einstein cherished the companionship and partnership he found with Elsa, and their marriage offered him the emotional support and understanding he needed to navigate the complexities of his life and work. However, even Elsa's presence could not entirely shield Einstein from the pressures and challenges that came with his fame and status as a public figure. Throughout his life, he was inundated with requests for interviews, lectures, and appearances, which often took him away from his family. Einstein's desire to share his ideas and advocate for causes close to his heart sometimes conflicted with his responsibilities as a husband and father. Overall, Einstein's personal life was a blend of scientific pursuit, familial obligations, and emotional complexities. His relationships with Maliva, Elsa, and his children revealed the human side of the brilliant physicist, a man who grappled with the demands of his professional life while navigating the intricacies of family dynamics. Part 2. Intellectual Collaborations Albert Einstein's groundbreaking scientific work was not a solitary endeavor, rather, he actively engaged in collaborations with other physicists and mathematicians throughout his life. These intellectual partnerships played a significant role in shaping his ideas, refining his theories, and advancing the frontiers of physics. By exploring some of his key collaborations, we gain valuable insights into how Einstein's genius was enhanced and enriched through fruitful exchanges of ideas with his peers. One of the most notable intellectual collaborations in Einstein's career was with Marcel Grossman, a fellow student and close friend from his days at the Polytechnic Institute in Zurich. Einstein and Grossman worked together on the mathematical foundations of general relativity. Einstein realized that developing a theory of gravity required a deep understanding of differential geometry, an area in which Grossman was well-versed. Drawing from Grossman's expertise, Einstein incorporated the mathematical formalism of tensors into his equations for general relativity. Grossman's contributions were essential in transforming Einstein's conceptual insights into rigorous mathematical formulations. The collaboration between Einstein and Grossman not only solidified the mathematical basis of general relativity but also cemented their lifelong friendship. This partnership exemplifies how cooperation and interdisciplinary collaboration can lead to profound scientific advancements. Another significant figure in Einstein's intellectual network was Niels Bohr, the Danish physicist and pioneer of quantum mechanics. Einstein and Bohr held divergent views on the interpretation of quantum mechanics, leading to spirited debates and discussions that became known as the Bohr-Einstein debates. Bohr's Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics emphasized the probabilistic nature of subatomic particles and the fundamental role of observation in determining their behavior. In contrast, Einstein remained skeptical of the probabilistic interpretation and famously asserted that God does not play dice with the universe. Despite their disagreements, Einstein and Bohr maintained a deep respect for each other's contributions and engaged in a friendly and productive intellectual exchange. Einstein also collaborated with Erwin Schrödinger, another leading figure in quantum mechanics. Schrödinger's wave equation provided a powerful tool for describing the behavior of quantum systems, and it played a central role in the development of quantum mechanics. Einstein's correspondence and interactions with Schrödinger were marked by mutual respect and curiosity. Their discussions on the philosophical implications of quantum mechanics delved into questions about determinism and the nature of reality. The Max Planck Institute for Physics in Berlin, headed by Max Planck, 
was another crucial intellectual hub for Einstein. Planck, known as the father of quantum theory, provided crucial support and mentorship to the young physicist. Einstein's early work on the photoelectric effect was inspired by Planck's quantum hypothesis, which proposed that energy is quantized in discrete units. Einstein's collaboration with Planck and his interactions with other leading physicists of the time helped solidify his position as a respected scientist within the academic community. These interactions facilitated the dissemination of his ideas and provided him with valuable feedback and support for his research. Beyond these specific collaborations, Einstein's intellectual network extended to a vast array of scientists from various disciplines. He corresponded with many prominent figures in physics and mathematics, including Paul Ehrenfest, Arnold Sommerfeld, and Max Born. Through his letters and personal interactions, Einstein maintained a wide-ranging exchange of ideas that spanned the globe. These intellectual collaborations were not only crucial to Einstein's scientific progress but also contributed to the broader advancement of physics. His willingness to engage with diverse perspectives and embrace interdisciplinary approaches allowed him to make transformative contributions to different areas of physics. Einstein's legacy as a scientific giant is not only a testament to his own brilliance but also to the power of collaborative and cooperative efforts in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Part 3 – Impact on Popular Culture Albert Einstein's scientific fame transcended the academic world and permeated popular culture, turning him into an iconic figure whose name and image became synonymous with genius and intellectual prowess. His distinctive appearance, characterized by his unruly hair, mustache, and often seen wearing a disheveled lab coat, further solidified his image as an eccentric and brilliant scientist. The impact of Einstein on popular culture is profound, with his influence evident in cartoons, advertisements, literature, movies, TV shows, and everyday language. In the realm of cartoons and comic strips, Einstein's likeness has been a recurring motif for decades. His unruly hair and mustache became instantly recognizable, allowing artists to use his image to convey the concept of scientific brilliance or intellectual depth. Einstein often appeared as a caricatured version of himself, engaging in humorous or thought-provoking situations related to science and discovery. His appearances in cartoons served to inspire curiosity about the mysteries of the universe and the wonders of scientific exploration. Advertisements also leveraged Einstein's image and reputation to lend credibility to various products and services. His status as a scientific luminary was often harnessed to endorse everything from scientific equipment to consumer goods. Although Einstein had no direct involvement in endorsing these products, his name and likeness were used to appeal to the public's perception of him as an authority on all things scientific. Beyond print media, Einstein's influence extended to the silver screen and television. He has been portrayed as a character in numerous movies and TV shows, both in fictional and biographical contexts. Dramatizations of his life, such as the 1972 film The Day the Clown Cried, and various documentaries have brought his remarkable story to a wider audience. Fictional portrayals often depict Einstein as a quirky and lovable genius, capturing his essence as an intellectual who challenged the conventional wisdom of his time. In literature, Einstein's name is frequently referenced to denote brilliance or intelligence. It has become a symbol for the archetype of the genius and is commonly used to describe individuals with extraordinary intellect or unconventional thinking. His name and image have also found their way into the realm of pop culture trivia and references, serving as a touchstone for discussions on intellectual achievements and scientific breakthroughs. The concept of Einstein as a shorthand for genius has even permeated everyday language. Phrases such as Einstein moment or Einstein level intelligence are used colloquially to describe moments of exceptional insight or profound intellectual understanding. 
Such colloquialisms reflect the enduring impact of Einstein's contributions to the world of science and his standing as an emblem of intellectual achievement. Einstein's iconic status in popular culture also reflects his broader cultural significance. As a Jewish scientist who fled persecution in Nazi Germany, Einstein became a symbol of the resilience of the human spirit and the power of scientific inquiry to transcend borders and ideologies. His journey from a relatively unknown patent examiner to a universally recognized scientific luminary resonated with people worldwide, inspiring generations of aspiring scientists and thinkers. Part 4 – Educational Legacy Albert Einstein's influence extended far beyond his groundbreaking scientific discoveries. He was deeply committed to the realm of education, advocating for intellectual freedom, creativity, and imagination in the pursuit of knowledge. Einstein's views on education resonated with educators and students alike, shaping the way we approach learning and research to this day. His involvement in various educational initiatives, including the founding of the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, further solidified his legacy as a champion of academic excellence and intellectual exploration. Einstein's approach to education emphasized the importance of nurturing curiosity and creativity in students. He believed that learning should be a joyful and exploratory process, rather than a rigid adherence to rote memorization. Einstein famously said, imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. His advocacy for intellectual freedom went hand in hand with his support for independent thinking and the encouragement of students to question the status quo. Einstein recognized that innovation and progress were driven by individuals who dared to challenge existing paradigms and think outside the box. By fostering an environment of intellectual freedom, he sought to empower students to engage critically with ideas and develop their unique perspectives. Einstein's influence on education was not limited to theoretical discussions, he actively participated in educational initiatives and institutions. In 1919, after relocating to Berlin, he joined the faculty of the University of Berlin as a professor of theoretical physics. His presence at the university attracted students and researchers from around the world, elevating the institution's status as a center of scientific inquiry. In addition to his academic roles, Einstein also played a pivotal part in the founding of the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. His association with this institution was born out of his commitment to his Jewish heritage and his desire to establish a place of learning and scholarship in the homeland of the Jewish people. Einstein was one of the university's founding fathers, serving on its board of governors and playing an active role in its early development. The establishment of the Hebrew University in 1925 marked a significant milestone in Einstein's educational legacy. The institution aimed to foster academic excellence and contribute to the advancement of knowledge in various fields. It quickly gained recognition as a hub for scientific and scholarly research, attracting leading intellectuals and researchers from across the globe. Einstein's involvement with the Hebrew University demonstrated his dedication to promoting higher education and creating opportunities for intellectual exploration. He recognized the importance of cultivating academic environments that encouraged interdisciplinary collaboration and the pursuit of knowledge for the betterment of society. Einstein's educational legacy also extended to his interactions with young scientists and students. He was known for his approachable demeanor and willingness to engage with aspiring researchers and scholars. His openness to mentorship and collaborative discussions provided invaluable guidance to many individuals entering the scientific community. Beyond academia, Einstein's influence on education continues to be felt in popular culture. His image as a symbol of intellectual curiosity and scientific achievement has inspired countless young minds to pursue careers in science and research. 
The archetype of the mad scientist with wild hair and a brilliant mind has become a fixture in literature, films, and other media, contributing to the popular image of scientists as imaginative and unconventional thinkers. Part 5, Theoretical Physics Beyond Einstein Albert Einstein's contributions to theoretical physics were undeniably revolutionary, reshaping our understanding of space, time, and gravity. However, the realm of theoretical physics did not stand still after Einstein's work. Instead, subsequent generations of physicists built upon and extended his ideas, leading to significant advancements in various areas of physics. Quantum field theory, while Einstein's theories of relativity provided profound insights into the macroscopic world, they did not fully address the behavior of subatomic particles and the forces that govern their interactions. Quantum mechanics, developed in the early 20th century, revolutionized our understanding of the microscopic realm. Quantum field theory QFT, emerged as a framework that unified quantum mechanics and special relativity, providing a way to describe particle interactions in a relativistic quantum context. QFT introduced the concept of fields, which permeate all of spacetime and are associated with different types of particles. The quantum field theory successfully described the behavior of elementary particles, such as electrons, photons, and quarks, and led to the development of the standard model of particle physics. This model encompasses the electromagnetic, weak, and strong nuclear forces and has become one of the most successful theories in physics, providing precise predictions that have been confirmed by numerous experiments. The quest for a theory of everything, TOE while the standard model has been remarkably successful, it does not include gravity. One of the most significant challenges in theoretical physics is to find a comprehensive theory that unifies all fundamental forces, including gravity, into a single coherent framework. This hypothetical theory is often referred to as the theory of everything, TOE. The search for a TOE has led to various approaches, such as string theory and loop quantum gravity. String theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point particles but tiny, one-dimensional strings. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, giving rise to the particles we observe. Loop quantum gravity, on the other hand, seeks to quantize gravity itself, treating spacetime as a discrete, granular structure. While progress has been made, a complete and experimentally verified TOE remains elusive. Nevertheless, this quest to unify all fundamental forces in a single theory continues to be one of the most ambitious and tantalizing endeavors in theoretical physics. Black Holes in Cosmology Einstein's general theory of relativity predicted the existence of black holes, gravitational singularities where gravity becomes infinitely strong. While the concept of black holes initially encountered skepticism, subsequent research and observations have provided overwhelming evidence for their existence. The study of black holes has become a prominent area of research, shedding light on the nature of spacetime, gravity, and the interplay between classical and quantum physics. Theoretical physicists have explored phenomena such as black hole thermodynamics, the information paradox, and the role of black holes in the evolution of galaxies. Cosmology, the study of the origin, structure, and evolution of the universe, has also witnessed significant developments beyond Einstein's time. The expansion of the universe, initially hypothesized by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, has been confirmed through observational data, leading to the formulation of the Big Bang Theory. Modern cosmology has also explored the concepts of dark matter and dark energy, both of which have profound implications for our understanding of the universe's large-scale structure and dynamics. The quest to unravel the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy continues to be a crucial area of theoretical physics. Part 6 – Ethical Considerations Albert Einstein's scientific brilliance and profound insights into the workings of the universe did not shield him from grappling with the ethical implications of his work, particularly in the context of nuclear weapons. 
As a prominent scientist during the tumultuous 20th century, Einstein's involvement in the development of nuclear weapons and his subsequent concerns about their potential for catastrophic consequences reflect the complexities of the intersection between science, ethics, and global security. Einstein's early involvement in nuclear issues can be traced back to the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime in Germany. As a Jewish scientist, he faced increasing persecution and threats to his safety. Fearing the destructive potential of Nazi Germany, Einstein, along with physicists Leo Szilard and Eugene Wigner, composed a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, warning him of the potential for Nazi Germany to develop atomic weapons. This letter, signed by Einstein, would ultimately spur the initiation of the Manhattan Project, a massive research and development effort in the United States to build the first atomic bombs. However, Einstein's initial involvement in advocating for nuclear research soon gave way to deep concerns about the ethical implications of such a destructive force. He realized that the unleashing of atomic energy could bring unparalleled devastation to humanity. Reflecting on his role in the development of the atomic bomb, Einstein later expressed remorse, stating, Had I known that the Germans would not succeed in producing an atomic bomb, I would have done nothing. The dropping of atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945 further intensified Einstein's ethical concerns. Witnessing the immense destruction and loss of civilian lives, he became a vocal advocate for nuclear disarmament and the peaceful use of atomic energy. In July 1946, Einstein, along with British philosopher Bertrand Russell, issued the Russell-Einstein Manifesto, which addressed the urgent need to prevent nuclear war and promote global cooperation. The manifesto warned of the catastrophic consequences of nuclear conflict and called for a concerted effort to find peaceful solutions to international disputes. The manifesto also led to the convening of the first Pugwash Conference on Science and World Affairs in 1957, named after the Canadian town where the meeting took place. These conferences brought together scientists from both sides of the Cold War divide to discuss the ethical responsibilities of the scientific community and the role of science in promoting peace and disarmament. Einstein's activism and ethical considerations extended beyond nuclear issues. He was deeply troubled by social injustice, racism, and the rise of authoritarian regimes. He spoke out against racism in the United States and actively supported the civil rights movement. Einstein used his prominent voice and public stature to advocate for social justice, international cooperation, and humanitarian causes. In his later years, Einstein also engaged in reflections on the relationship between science, spirituality, and ethics. He explored philosophical questions about the nature of reality, the human condition, and the search for meaning in a complex and uncertain world. Part 7, Einstein's Later Works In the latter part of his life, Albert Einstein's intellectual pursuits extended beyond the realm of physics, encompassing topics such as philosophy, religion, and the nature of the universe. As one of the most celebrated scientists of his time, Einstein's foray into these philosophical and spiritual explorations offers a unique insight into the mind of a brilliant thinker grappling with the broader questions of existence and the human experience. Einstein's interest in philosophy was evident in his writings, where he delved into the fundamental questions of reality, knowledge, and the nature of existence. He was deeply drawn to the works of philosophers such as Immanuel Kant and Baruch Spinoza, whose ideas about the nature of the universe and the relationship between mind and matter resonated with him. Einstein's engagement with philosophy influenced his scientific approach, as he sought to understand the philosophical underpinnings of the theories he was developing. One of the significant themes that emerged in Einstein's later works was his exploration of the relationship between science and spirituality. He grappled with the idea of a cosmic religious feeling that transcended conventional religious dogma. For Einstein, science and spirituality were not mutually exclusive, rather, 
he saw them as complementary avenues to understanding the mysteries of the universe. In his book The World as I See It, published in 1934, Einstein offered a glimpse into his philosophical reflections on various topics, including religion, morality, and the human condition. He wrote about his belief in a rational cosmic order underlying the universe, which he described as a spiritually significant principle. While Einstein rejected traditional notions of a personal god, he had a profound sense of awe and wonder at the beauty and intricacy of the natural world, viewing it as a source of spiritual inspiration. Einstein's views on religion were deeply rooted in his reverence for the natural laws governing the cosmos. He famously said, science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. For him, scientific exploration and spiritual contemplation were interconnected, offering complementary insights into the mysteries of existence. His reflections on religion and spirituality were not confined to his writings. In various public statements and interviews, Einstein emphasized the importance of cultivating a sense of humility and a spirit of wonder and curiosity about the world. He encouraged a harmonious coexistence between science and religion, cautioning against the potential pitfalls of dogmatism and narrow-mindedness. Einstein's philosophical and spiritual reflections also extended to his views on human morality and ethics. He believed in the importance of moral values and the pursuit of ethical behavior as essential aspects of the human experience. While he did not align himself with any formal religious tradition, he saw morality as a fundamental aspect of human society, transcending cultural and religious boundaries. In his later years, Einstein continued to explore the nature of the universe and the potential for a unified theory of physics that would unify all the fundamental forces. His quest for a theory of everything, which he sought to reconcile gravity and electromagnetism, remained unfulfilled. However, his dedication to the pursuit of knowledge and understanding remained undiminished. Einstein's later works reflected a profound sense of curiosity, humility, and wonder about the mysteries of the universe and the human condition. His philosophical reflections on science and spirituality, along with his commitment to ethical values, exemplify the multifaceted nature of his intellectual legacy. Part 8, Legacy and Posthumous Recognition Albert Einstein's impact on the world of science and beyond has been immeasurable, and his legacy continues to endure long after his passing. From the preservation and study of his writings to the continued validation of his scientific predictions, Einstein's influence remains a driving force in advancing our understanding of the universe and inspiring future generations of scientists. One of the most significant efforts to preserve and honor Einstein's legacy is the establishment of the Einstein Archives at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. In 1952, Einstein bequeathed his personal papers, correspondence, and manuscripts to the university, with the condition that they remain sealed for 20 years after his death. The Einstein Archives, officially opened in 1982, contains a vast collection of over 80,000 documents, providing a comprehensive record of Einstein's scientific work, philosophical musings, and personal life. The archives have become a treasure trove for historians and researchers, offering unparalleled insights into Einstein's intellectual journey, the development of his theories, and his interactions with fellow scientists and thinkers. The preservation and study of his writings have shed light on the depth of Einstein's genius and the evolution of his ideas, providing valuable historical context for understanding the scientific and philosophical landscape of his time. Einstein's impact is not limited to the academic realm, his name and iconic image continue to resonate in popular culture. His wild hair and mustache have become universally recognized symbols of scientific genius, making him a cultural icon. He is often portrayed in films, TV shows, and literature, cementing his place in the collective imagination as a larger-than-life figure whose contributions transcend the confines of the scientific community. 
Moreover, Einstein's name is still invoked in scientific discoveries that validate his predictions and theories. Perhaps one of the most significant posthumous recognitions of Einstein's genius came in 2015 when the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, detected gravitational waves for the first time. These ripples in spacetime, predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity a century earlier, were finally observed, confirming the validity of his groundbreaking theory. The detection of gravitational waves was a monumental scientific achievement, marking a new era in astrophysics and offering unprecedented opportunities to study the cosmos. Einstein's role in predicting this phenomenon was acknowledged and celebrated worldwide, reaffirming his status as one of history's greatest scientific minds. Furthermore, the study of Einstein's theories and their applications in modern physics continues to drive research and inspire new generations of scientists. His work remains foundational in fields such as cosmology, black hole physics, and the study of the early universe. Scientists continue to test and refine Einstein's theories, seeking to uncover new insights and push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Beyond scientific recognition, Einstein's contributions to peace and social justice are also part of his enduring legacy. His advocacy for disarmament and international cooperation resonates with ongoing efforts to promote global peace and understanding. His name is often invoked in discussions about ethical considerations in scientific research and the responsibility of scientists to consider the broader societal implications of their work. Part 9, Cultural and Social Impact Albert Einstein's cultural and social impact extended far beyond the realm of science. Throughout his life, he was a passionate advocate for civil rights, social justice, and humanitarian causes. His outspoken stance on political and social issues had a profound and lasting impact on the course of history leaving an indelible mark on the fight for civil rights and the pursuit of global cooperation and peace. Einstein's involvement in the civil rights movement in the United States was a testament to his commitment to fighting against racial discrimination and promoting equality. Despite being a prominent physicist, he did not shy away from using his platform to speak out against racial injustice. In the 1930s and 1940s, he actively supported the civil rights movement, aligning himself with African-American activists and intellectuals. Einstein's advocacy for civil rights was deeply rooted in his belief in the fundamental dignity and equality of all human beings. He was outspoken about the need to combat racial prejudice and discrimination and sought to raise awareness of the systemic injustices faced by marginalized communities. His efforts to promote civil rights resonated with many, and he became a source of inspiration for those fighting for equality and justice. In 1946, Einstein was invited to deliver a commencement address at Lincoln University, the first degree granting historically black university in the United States. In his speech, he praised the contributions of African Americans to society and called for an end to racial segregation and discrimination. He asserted, there is separation of colored people from white people in the United States. That separation is not a disease of colored people. It is a disease of white people. I do not intend to be quiet about it. Einstein's support for the establishment of the State of Israel also had a significant cultural and social impact. He was a staunch advocate for the Zionist movement and believed in the need for a Jewish homeland in Palestine. In 1931, he visited Palestine and met with leaders of the Jewish community. He also engaged in fundraising efforts to support the establishment of the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. However, despite his support for the Zionist cause, Einstein's views on Israel were nuanced. He advocated for peaceful coexistence between Jews and Arabs in the region and voiced concerns about the potential for conflict. He believed in the importance of finding a just and equitable solution that would safeguard the rights and interests of all inhabitants in the region. 
Beyond specific political and social issues, Einstein's ideas and beliefs on humanitarianism and global cooperation had a broader cultural impact. He was a vocal proponent of international cooperation and believed that scientific advancements should be used for the betterment of humanity rather than for destructive purposes. He warned against the dangers of nationalism, militarism, and the arms race, advocating for disarmament and peaceful resolutions to conflicts. Einstein's ideas on global cooperation and the responsible use of scientific knowledge resonate with ongoing efforts to address pressing global challenges, such as climate change and nuclear proliferation. His advocacy for peaceful coexistence and the pursuit of knowledge for the greater good continues to be a guiding principle in international relations and diplomacy. We've now reached the end of our journey today, thank you for letting the tales of old be your backdrop and remember, history isn't just about the past, it's about understanding our present and shaping our future.